Good evening. My name is Pat Wallace. I'm the principal of Swigel High School. I'd like to take this time to welcome everyone to the 2020 award ceremony here at Oswego High School. To start the ceremony off, I'm going to thank everyone that had something to do with making this possible, and I'm going to turn the ceremony over to Mr. DiLorenzo. Mr. DiLorenzo. Thank you, Mr. Wallace. This is absolutely one of the Oswego High School's finest nights of the year. We honor our graduates with financial assistance and support as they go off to college and do fantastic things for our community, for our country, for our planet. We also honor juniors that are planning to go to school and receiving awards from universities and colleges across New York State. And we honor our merit winners, regular students from ninth through 12th grade that have been recognized for their achievement by their teachers. We also, at this time, do something incredibly valuable. We honor our past. Many of the names, many of the organizations, many of the fine works that have come before us here in the Oswego community are represented in these scholarships tonight. Community members, friends, relatives, people that care about the Oswego community and its future. We're broadcasting live tonight from WBUC at the Oswego High School, a skeleton crew, socially distant, and still coming to you to present this support. We are going to give away tonight, the community is going to give away tonight, close to $100,000 in financial support to our graduating seniors and over a million dollars in pledged support from colleges and universities for our junior class. That is what the Oswego community is all about. In times like this, a coronavirus, COVID crisis that finds you at home and me here in the WBUC studios, along with Mrs. Lloyd and Mrs. Mills, along with Mr. Wallace and Mr. Bach and Mrs. Clark, and we are working tonight to still honor and respect and value the contributions of the community and our seniors. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to start us off with a few of our winners. And then I'm going to turn it over to some remote presentations that we filmed earlier. And then we'll come back to the studio. So we're going to start out with the Charles E. Riley Oswego Rotary Scholarship. That is a $2,000 award given to a student who demonstrates potential to succeed in college. And this year's winner is Isabella Herrera. Congratulations, that starts us off. All right, we're also gonna give away the Anthony Murbido Oswego Rotary Scholarship. This is a $2,000 scholarship awarded to a student who demonstrates potential to succeed in college. And this year's recipient is Elizabeth Bush. Also, the Ralph and Dorothy Faust Oswego Rotary Scholarship, a $2,000 scholarship awarded to a student who demonstrates potential to succeed in college. And this year's recipient is Aaron Hibbert. And the Dr. Manjula R. Shaw Oswego Rotary Scholarship, this is a $1,000 award to a student who demonstrates potential to succeed in college. And this year's recipient is Ms. Hannah Holland. And the final run that I will read right now is the Dr. Richard S. Shineman Oswego Rotary Scholarship. 
This is a $2,000 scholarship awarded to a student who demonstrates potential to succeed in college. And this year's honored recipient is Jake Chetney. Congratulations. All right, we are now going to cut to a couple of very special scholarships that have touched the hearts of the Oswego community and especially the Oswego High School. And two of our community members, uh, Mr. Benjamin Hall and Mr. Timothy Wink, are going to do those presentations for you right now. Enjoy. He was a former super economic student of Mr. Ed Stacy. Mr. Stacy called him a superstar. This year's recipient of the Nathan Williams Super Economics Award is Molly Fisk Gibbons. Also in memory of Lieutenant Nathan Williams is the Nathan Williams Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the senior class and the family of Nathan Williams. This year's recipient is Megan Albright. My name is Tim Wink. I'm the husband of Michelle Wink who passed away two years ago when she was athletic trainer. This is Benjamin Hall. We are here to present the Michelle Wink Memorial Scholarship Award. First of all, I'd like to thank the community for the continued funding and support of this during our fundraisers. I'd like to thank the administration for their understanding. I'd also like to thank the fundraisers themselves for all the hard work that they put forth so that we can give out these scholarships. Due to COVID-19, and the financial strains put on people this year, it has been decided that we will give out more scholarships than we have in the past. Each student still has to hold the high merit, character, and personality traits that represent Michelle. This year's recipients of the Michelle Wink Memorial Scholarship are Abigail Cook, Ashley Finch, Sophia DiLorenzo, Hannah Holland, Carson Colucci, Alexandria Stoll, and Alexander Kaprowski. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations. We are back at WBUC. And next, we are going to hear a very personal award from our superintendent of schools, Dr. Dean Guai. It's my pleasure to present this very important scholarship. My father, Donald Guay, was a career educator serving the Oswego City School District for the bulk of his educational career. He was a math and elementary teacher before serving as principal of Charles E. Riley Elementary School for 20 years, as well as serving as a member of the Board of Education of the Oswego City School District. He was a founder of the Oswego Teachers Federal Credit Union and the Port City Educational Foundation, illustrating his love of teaching and learning. The Donald J. Gioi Memorial Elementary Education Scholarship is a $500 award that's given annually to a graduating senior who has been accepted into a four-year college or university to study elementary education or a support or special area of elementary education. The recipient must have demonstrated a record of academic success, community service, and a love of literacy. I'm proud to announce that this year's recipient That is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student planning a degree in elementary education, special area of elementary education, and who has demonstrated a record of academic success, community service, and a love of literacy. Our next award, again, is a very special award to the Oswego High School, and it will be presented by the Dunsmore family. We'd like to start out by congratulating the OHS class of 2020. Our hearts have been with you while you've had your high school experience cut short. We don't know what it's like to be where you are today, but we do know about having time cut too short. Our time with Garrett was cut short two years ago when he passed suddenly and unexpectedly. So we know that sometimes just surviving circumstances like these are the strongest and bravest thing that you can do. And we are so proud of this class for getting through it. We encourage you to focus on all the wonderful experiences you have had, rather on what you've lost, and create something positive going forward. The Garrett Dunsmore Memorial Scholarship was created last year to honor a student that exemplifies the qualities that were so important to making Garrett the incredible person that he was. Garrett graduated from OHS in 2014 and was proud to be an Oswego Buccaneer. At OHS, he was a high honor student 
played football, basketball, and lacrosse. He was involved in many clubs, and he loved commentating for WBUC. He went on to play D3 lacrosse and football at St. Lawrence University, where he graduated with many academic and athletic honors. Garrett was bright, hardworking, humble, and personable, with a smile that would light up every room. He was passionate about athletics, academics, and social issues, and always looked at the better side of everyone and the brighter side of everything. Well, Garrett is not here to fulfill his destiny. We know that he would be happy and proud to help provide other students with the opportunities that he had earned. We have established the Garrett Dunsmore Memorial Foundation in Garrett's memory to enrich the lives of youth in and around Oswego, New York. Today, we are proud to present a $1,000 scholarship in Garrett's name in that endeavor. Thank you to everyone who applied. There were many deserving students this year, and we're so proud of all of you. This award means so much to us, and we're proud to recognize a graduating senior that exemplifies so many qualities that were so characteristic of Garrett. The recipient of the second annual Garrett Dunsmore Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Victoria Tripp. Again, we see the lives that our community members have touched, and we see the lives that they continue to touch through the generosity of their families and the people that remember them well. And that, again, is part of what we are here to do tonight, to take part of Oswego's past and invest it in Oswego's future. And it's the community and the people that are helping to do that. Our next segment is a series of awards that will be presented by our own guidance counselor here at the Oswego High School, Mrs. Lisa Roman. The first scholarship I'd like to present is the Association of Administrative Professional Scholarship. This is a $200 scholarship for a student that is planning to attend a two or four year college or technical school. The recipient of this award is Kayla Hockey. The next scholarship I'd like to present is the Dr. William Mahon Achievement Award. This is a $100 award sponsored by Mark Mirbito in remembrance of Dr. Mahon. The recipient of this award is Alexandria Delfino. The next scholarship I'd like to present is the Trevor Lanigan Memorial Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship awarded by his family in remembrance of Trevor. This year's recipient is Julia Roman. The next scholarship is the Albert W. Bruno Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a student entering engineering, computer science, or medical field. The student selected for this must be in the top 5% of the class in science and math and must have participated in a variety of school and community activities. The recipient of this scholarship is Roma Kawaja. The next scholarship is the J. Leonard Douglas Memorial Scholarships. This is seven $225 scholarships awarded to students who will be furthering their education at a four-year school and who have maintained an average of 85 or above. The recipients are Aaron Hibbert, Zoe Ruiz Torres, Haley Furlong, Alexander Koproski, Paige Sawyer, Abigail Fall, and Victoria Crisofoli. The next scholarship is the Frederick Layton Memorial Scholarship. This is a $225 scholarship to a student who will be furthering his or her education at a four-year school and who has maintained an average of 85 or above. This year's recipient is Morgan Mace. The next scholarship is the Margaret Murphy Memorial Scholarship. This is a $225 scholarship to a student who will be furthering his or her education at a four-year school and who has maintained an average of 85 or above. This year's recipient is Catherine Fierro. The next scholarship is the Nellie Himes Memorial Scholarship. This is a $225 scholarship to a student who will be furthering his or her education at a four-year school and who has maintained an average of 85 or above. This year's recipient is Marissa Bell. The next scholarship is the P. Kevin Gilman, 74, and Irene Goldman Gilman, 75, Memorial Scholarship. This fund was established by friends and family of Kevin and Irene Gilman, loyal SUNY Oswego alumni. 
Kevin was a trusted financial advisor for Northwestern Mutual and passionate rugby coach. Irene was a teacher and actively involved with the YMCA. This $1,875 scholarship is awarded to a student at Oswego High School who has overcome personal challenges, exhibits academic promise, and has demonstrated financial need. The recipient of this scholarship is Alexandria Delfino. The next scholarship is the Society of American Military Engineers. This is a $500 scholarship to a student who is pursuing a career in engineering, architecture, construction management, or a related field. The recipient of this scholarship is Abigail McPherson. The next awards are Merit Awards, Special Achievement Merit Awards. These awards are given to students for special recognition. Their names are Ardina Atia, Special Achievement, Samantha Cole, Special Achievement, Jaden Martinez, Speech Language Therapy, and Jeremiah Schultz, Special Achievement. The next award is the New York State Attorney General's Triple C Award. These awards are presented each year to students who have shown character, courage, and commitment. This year's recipients are Julia Roman and Carson Colucci. The next scholarship is the Trooper Doyle Memorial Scholarship. This is a $1,100 scholarship to a student of good character and citizenship. This year's recipient is Molly Fitzgibbons. And here we are back in WBUC. Again, a lot of people contributing to the future of our students. Next, again, a taped presentation of awards. This one coming from our very own Mrs. Finch. Donald Hill Memorial Scholarship, a $500 scholarship given to the children of an Oswego police officer, Logan Engel. Diana and Samuel Rosenberg Scholarship, a $250 scholarship awarded to attending a two or four year school who has demonstrated community service. This year's recipient is Nicole Del Conte. John E. Cullen Memorial Scholarship, is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to students who attend St. Paul's Academy or Trinity's Catholic School. This year recip recipients are Paige Sawyer, H Haley Furlong, Samuel Metcalf, Ashley Finch, and Abigail Chamberlain. This year merit awards for English. The recipients are Liana, um, Liana Porpagila, English 9, Justin Hudson, English 11, Michaela Rowland, English Lab, Jacob Pixley, English 9, Adam Deval Guzman, English 12, Haley Gardner, English 12, Khadija Boyd, English 11, Mary Kate Clunan, English 10 Honors, Sierra Allen, English 11, Anastasia McCown, English 10, Owen Warner, World Lit, Megan Paris, English 11, Maya Johnson, English 9, Lily Bozick, English 10, Ethan Herbert, English 9, Allison Terrell, English 10, Zoe Rez, I'm sorry, Ruz Trez Cinema. Trim, um, Trinity Catholic School Faith and Education Scholarship is a $200 scholarship awarded to students who attended Trinity Catholic School who have continued to exemplify the traditions and faith and education while attending public school within the Oswego community. This year's recipient, recipients are Abigail Chamberlain, Haley Furlong, and Paige Sawyer. Bosco and Gears Business Scholarship is a $250 scholarship to a student planning to attend business or marketing school. This year's recipient is Carson Colucci. The Oswego County Enviathon, a $100 awarded, $100 awarded to environmental club student from their wildlife exam from 2018. Thank you, Mrs. Finch. Now we're back in our studio. It's a lovely evening to be here. Next, I'll be reading awards for underclassmen. 
This next set of scholarships are awarded to juniors. They are based on academic achievement or school leadership. Clarkson University High School Leadership Award is a $60,000 scholarship awarded over four years to recognize a junior who demonstrates strong leadership and academic qualities. I am happy to announce this scholarship is for Samantha Turpening. Woo, woo. Uh, Clarkson University High School Achievement Award is another award, and this is a $48,000 scholarship awarded over four years to recognize a junior who demonstrates strong leadership and academic qualities. This award is for Joseph de Blasi. The Student Sage Award at the Sage College is a $40,000 scholarship awarded over four years based on senior year GPA to a junior who excels in the classroom while being engaged in the community. These recipients are Audrey Flint, Olivia Davis, Lemoyne, College Heights Award is a $50,000 scholarship awarded over four years given to a junior for outstanding service to school and community. This award goes to Aiden Thompson. The RIT Computing Medal and Scholarship is a $28,000 scholarship awarded over four years annually to one male and one female from the junior class who demonstrates academic achievement, leadership, and interest and ability in computing. The two awardees are Kimberly Coletta and James Niger. The RIT Innovation and Creativity Award and Scholarship is a $28,000 scholarship awarded over four years recognizing high school juniors who have distinguished themselves academically, are active and involved members of their school and community, and demonstrate outstanding achievement in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. The two awardees are Connor Mulcahy and Morgan Sampson. The Rensselaer Medal uh, is an awesome award, and Joe de Blasi, I hope you go here because it's $100,000. <laughs> I would like to pass off the next set of awards to one of our very distinguished retirees this year, Mrs. Lloyd. Thank you, Mrs. Mills. Um, I'm gonna continue with the Junior Awards, and the next one is the Bausch and Lomb Honorary Science Award, and it is a $30,000 scholarship awarded over four years by the University of Rochester to the Outstanding Junior in Science, and that goes to Zeta Olson. The next one is the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award, it is also a $30,000 scholarship awarded over four years by the University of Rochester to a junior who has demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues. And that goes to John Jack Spaulding. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award is also a $30,000 scholarship awarded over four years by the University of Rochester to a junior who has demonstrated strong leadership skills, high grades, and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. And that goes to Tyler May. We next have the Xerox Award for Innovation in Information Technology. Again, a $30,000 scholarship awarded over four years by the University of Rochester to a student who demonstrates a strong interest in innovation or information technology, and that goes to Allison Griffin. Next, we have the Wells College 21st Century Award. It's a $40,000 scholarship awarded over four years to a junior who demonstrates outstanding leadership ability in high school and community activities. And that has two winners, Sonia Anderson and Eve Hibbert. The Elmira College Key Award is an $80,000 scholarship awarded over four years to a junior who has demonstrated academic excellence. And these two awards go to Gretchen Dowd and Aiden Thompson. The CUCA College George H. Ball Community Achievement Award is a $40,000 scholarship awarded over four years to a junior who has demonstrated academic excellence. Again, we have multiple winners, Gretchen Dowd, Sarah Jones, Kimberly Coletta, 
Connor Mulcahy, and Cassidy Proud. And our last junior award is the St. Lawrence University Book Award Program. It's a $1,000 scholarship awarded for four years to a junior student who has demonstrated academic success. And that goes to Sonia Anderson. And I'm gonna go back to Mrs. Mills. I'm gonna continue with some more senior awards. Thank you, Mrs. Lloyd, I'm back. Um, the next award I will read is the NBT Bank Scholarship Award. It's a $100 scholarship to a student majoring in business, Aubrey Avery. The Fulton Savings Bank Scholarship is a scholarship for students planning to attend SUNY Oswego or Cayuga Community College. This is $2,000 for four years, Megan DeLong. And a $1,000 scholarship for two years for Riley Rosecco. Oswego Children's Board Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to two recipients, Nicole Del Conte and Elizabeth Bush. The WBUC Alumni Scholarship is a scholarship for a student who has a passion for broadcasting and plans to attend a two or a four year school for a related career. This $1,000 scholarship is awarded to Victoria Tripp. Now I have a series of merit awards for foreign language. Marcus Baker, French three honors. Sidney Hofer, Spanish two honors. Mitchell Grimshaw, Spanish two. Sean Metcalf, French two. Emma Siror, Spanish one. And Christian Kerfin, ENL. Merit awards for music go to Aidan Thompson for chamber singers. Kendra Garvey for concert choir. Caitlin Freeth for chorale, Liam Brown, concert orchestra, Grace Wing, symphonic orchestra, Abigail McPherson, whoop, wind ensemble, Brandon Earl, concert band, Connor Sorrell, symphonic band, and Daniel Emmons, jazz ensemble. Now we'll go, we will go remotely to Dr. Neron, another of our distinguished retirees this year, who will read another series of awards. I am honored to present the Merit Awards for Science. Josie Tessorario, Living Environment. Leon Lynn, Honors Earth Science. Adriana Ellis, Earth Science. Amelia Rasterly, Regents Chemistry. Haji Haji, Living Environment. Maximus Pierce, Living Environment. Damian Allen, Conceptual Physics. And Grace Stevens, living environment. Congratulations to you all. The Mary Siapa Education Scholarship, a $1,000 scholarship to a student planning to attend a career in elementary education. Awarded to Dylan Brockway. Oswego Garden Club Ruth Sayer Memorial Scholarship, a $500 scholarship to a student that is planning to study in horticulture, the environment, landscaping, or agriculture. Awarded to Nicole Delacante. The following awards are typically presented at concerts during the last week of, of school, and we would like to recognize these students. Charles and Alice Gilbert Memorial Music Scholarship. This $1,000 scholarship award is given annually to a student pursuing a career, a career in music who has demonstrated outstanding talent, work ethic, and dedication to the music department. Awarded to Daniel Emmons. The New York State Field Band Conference Scholarship. Two $400 scholarships awarded to Abigail McPherson, Paige Sawyer. The Edward S. Lisk Medal of Distinction Scholarship. A $1,000 scholarship awarded to Daniel Emmons. The Joshua Luke Shavaria Music Appreciation Award, a $1,000 scholarship to a student who excels in and has an awe-inspiring passion for the fine arts, Abigail McPherson. The Joseph P. Sperino Memorial Music Scholarship, a $1,000 scholarship to a student who has participated in the music program at Oswego High School and will study music in a related field. Awarded to Matthew Oldenburg. 
the Thomas W. McEnany Memorial Scholarship, a $500 scholarship in recognition of an outstanding student who is dedicated to the service of the band program. This individual represents the compassion, dedication, and selflessness that Mr. McEnany exhibited as a beloved member of the Oswego City School District. Awarded to Caitlin Ciro. OHS Band Parents Association Scholarship. A $500 scholarship awarded to Paige Sawyer. The Joseph P. F Sousa Award for Symphonic Band awarded to Hunter Pryor. And for Wind Ensemble, Daniel Emmons. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Ensemble Award awarded to Daniel Emmons. National School Orchestra Award awarded to Matthew Oldenburg. The National School Chorus Awards. This award is the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top male and female choral students and is given to one male and one female annually. These are awarded to Veronica Jones and Matthew Kyler. The Fred Waring Directors Award for Chorus. Fred was one of the leading choral directors of the 20th century. He composed and arranged music, and his choral group, the Pennsylvanians, spread the popularity of singing. This award recognizes the talent and enthusiasm of outstanding choral members. Awarded to Isabella Herrera. The Leonard Bernstein Award. In his long career, Leonard made an indelible mark on the musical world as a conductor, composer, and teacher. This award will honor students whose musical contribution, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition for their achievement. This is awarded to Live back in WBUC, I have a couple of uh, other awards to go along with the band awards that we just heard about. Uh, also, again, a uh, theater and arts award. So the OHS Band Leadership Award. These are three $100 scholarships that are awarded to Aaron Hibbert, Hunter Pryor, and Teddy Easter. We also have the Mary Jane Owens Buskey Scholarship a $250 scholarship this year going to Megan Albright. The next award is one that's very dear to me. It's for a student who participated in our theater program here at the Oswego High School. This is the Nona Toronto Memorial Scholarship, a $500 scholarship to a student who will pursue a career in the theater. And this year's recipient is Norman Berlin III. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was 15 years ago. This year's recipient is Kat McGreevy. Congratulations. And now we are gonna go back to Mrs. Stephanie Finch, teacher here at the Oswego High School and uh, mother of a senior, to read a few more awards. The Angela McDonald Memorial Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded in the memory of Angela McDonald, who was a founding member of the girls' varsity hockey team at OHS. This year's recipient is Ashley Finch. Jack Carney Memorial Scholarship is a $1,000 scholarship awarded in the memory of Mr. Carney, given by his wife, Jess, to a student who will be attending a technical or vocational school and it demonstrates financial need. This year's recipient is Declan O'Connor. The Oswego County Counselors Association Scholarship, a $400 scholarship to a student entering the field of human services. This year's recipient is Victoria Christopoli. The American Red Cross Scholarship is a $250 scholarship to a student who has supported the Red Cross and its blood drive efforts. This year's recipient is Abigail Chamberlain. And the Merit Awards for Physical Education and Health. This year's recipients are Ann Nirja, Physical Education, Maya Fierro, Physical Education, Dylan Auden, Health, and Jacob Slitzanyong, Physical Education. The Oswego Association of Business and Professional Women's Club, a $500 scholarship awarded to a female student with good character, 
leadership skills and um, scholastic achievement. Riley Wozarsko is a re this year's recipient. Community Service Recognition, Recognition Award, sorry. To honor those students who have continued to serve their community over the last four years and have met or exceeded a number of community service hours. They will receive a certification and a set of purple cords, which will be worn at graduation to signify their dedication. The following students had more than 24 hours. Emma Alton, Garrett Bishaw, and Jake Chatney. The following students had um, plus 100 hours, Victoria Cristofoli, Caitlin Ciro. And here we are back in WBUC. Community service, some awards that we just heard about. I think again, it's the spirit of what we are here to do tonight. The Oswego community serves its seniors and I think what we're all hoping for is that someday those seniors might come back in some way or another and serve the community. It's why we make these investments in our best, in our brightest, and we send them off in the world to do great things and again, help us in the long run. Um, we are now gonna go back to Mrs. Lloyd and Mrs. Mills for some merit awards and some more scholarships. Rosisco, Rosisco, if I just keep saying it, we'll say it right one of these times, Riley. So sorry. Uh, I have some merit awards for art. Uh, Christina McMaster for Unified Art. Emily Blake, Ceramics. Tristan Munger, Advanced Graphics. And Emma Croft, Studio and Art. Some merit awards for Technology. Naya Dawson, Drawing and Design for Production. Amelia Rasley, Woodworking. Nick Bragg, TV Productions. And Lauren Garofalo, Family and Consumer Science. The Frederick Layton Home and School Association Scholarship is a $100 scholarship to a student who attended Layton Elementary School. This award goes to Abigail McPherson. The Kingsford Park Home and School Association Scholarship is a $500 scholarship to a student who attended Kingsford Park Elementary School for grades K through six. The student must have an average of at least 85 and must have contributed to the life of the school, district, and or the Oswego community. That's and the Oswego community because they both have given much. Jake Chetney and Kirsten, Kirsten Bell, sorry. Mineto Home and School Association Scholarship is a $250 scholarship to a student who attended Mineto Elementary School. I think that's the better elementary school. Carson Colucci and Caitlin Ciro. <clears throat> the Oswego Teachers Employees Federal Credit Union Scholarships are $500 scholarships and there are three recipients, Abigail McPherson, Sophia DiLorenzo, and Jack Rice. A 100, or I'm sorry, not 100,000, a thousand dollar founding membership scholarship goes to Nicole Del Conte. The Charles E. Riley Home and School Association Scholarship is a $200 scholarship to a student who attended Riley Elementary School, and this goes to Kayla Hockey. Now I will read some merit awards for social studies. Yay! We love social studies. Taylor Marshall for participation in government. Morgan Benzing for U.S. History, Cameron McCall for Global Studies 10, Vincenzo Livich for Economics, Ava Clunin for AP U.S. History, Aubrey Avery for OHS Inc., Juan Torres Algarin for U.S. History, Anna Clunin for Pre-AP World History, Allison Van Brocklin for Global Studies 10, Shannon Doyle, Global Studies 10, Rebecca Hibbert, Global Studies 9, and Ernest Henderson for Global Studies 9. Now Mrs. Lloyd will read the next selection of scholarships. Don't forget your thing. Okay, I am back for the Oswego Classroom Teachers Association scholarships. Through their fundraising efforts, the teachers of the Oswego City School District are pleased to, pleased to be able to offer eight scholarships. The recipients are Jake Chetney, Carson Colucci, 
Nicole Del Conte, Molly Fitzgibbons, Hannah Holland, Abigail McPherson, Matthew Oldenburg, and Julia Roman. I get tired of saying your name, Julia. The Compass <coughs> Federal Credit Union Scholarship uh, is not going to be on here. <laughs> <laughs> the Oswego Kiwanis Club is three $500 scholarships, and they are awarded to Riley Rosisco, Dylan Brockway, and Victoria Tripp. The Oswego Sunrise Rotary, Scholars, Rotary Club scholarships are three $500 scholarships awarded to Dylan Brockway, Victoria Tripp, and Victoria Crisofoli and also a $250 scholarship to Marissa Bell. The Student Council scholarships are awarded through fundraising efforts of the Student Council of Oswego High School, and we have scholarships for Kirsten Bell for $200, Marissa Bell for $100, Haley Furlong for $100, Bella Herrera for $150, Roma Quaja for $200, and Jackson Stevens for 150. Now we have a couple, or a, a memorial scholarship, a Sandy Harrison Memorial Scholarship. It's $500, awarded in the memory of Sandy Harrison. She was an elementary teacher in the Oswego City School District, and that goes to Carson Colucci. The next is the Pathfinder Bank Scholarship. It's a $150 scholarship, and that is awarded to Aubrey Avery. We have some achievement awards. The Health Education Achievement Award is a $100 scholarship to a student who displayed outstanding academic achievement in health education, and that goes to Jack Rice. And now I have some merit awards for math, which is the better subject. And we have Jennifer Ciarla, Algebra 2, Morgan Mace for Math 12A and B, Gavin Mills for Algebra, Jordan Engler for Pre-Calc Honors, hey Jordan, Connor Clabro for Geometry, Leon Lynn for Algebra, Jacob Ball for Math Apps A, B, and C, Michaela Rowland for FOA, Blake Graves for FOA, Megan Albright for AP Computer Science Principles. And now I am going to turn it over to Mrs. Roman again with some more awards. The next scholarship is the Jeff Pullis Memorial Scholarship. This is a $350 scholarship awarded in memory of Jeff Pullis, a former student, to a student who has been involved in school and community service and who demonstrates financial need. This year's recipient is Megan Albright. The next scholarship is the Edith A. Martin Memorial Scholarship. This is a $175 scholarship to a former Kingsford Park Elementary student in memory of Edith Martin, a teacher at Kingsford Park School. This year's scholarship recipient is Jake Chetney. The next scholarship is the Robert Gabler Memorial Scholarship. This is a $250 scholarship awarded in memory of Mr. Gabler, a biology teacher at OHS, to a student planning to study biology or a related field in college. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Bush. The next scholarship is the Anthony M. and Margaret Slozik Memorial Scholarship. This is a $200 scholarship award in memory of Mr. Slozik, a social studies teacher at OHS, and his wife, to a student planning to study social studies. This year's recipient is Grace DeLand. The next scholarship is the Mary K. Hunt Memorial Scholarship. This is a $250 scholarship awarded in memory of Mrs. Hunt, a math teacher at OHS, to students active in school and community service. This recipient this year is Morgan Mace. The next scholarship is the Mazuka Family Scholarship. This is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a student entering the field of nursing and who has been involved in extracurricular activities at OHS and in organizations that serve the Oswego community. The recipient is Julia Roman. The next scholarship is the Anthony J. Murbito Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Murbito was principal of OHS from 1969 to 1974. This is a $500 scholarship 
and is awarded to a student planning to pursue a career in science. This year's recipient. Hello, welcome back to the studio. We are now going to turn the presentation back over to Mrs. Lloyd, who is going to help us with some more scholarships and our Smarty Pants Awards. <laughs> OK. Here I am with the Smarty Pants Awards. These are the honors medals. So I assume you're going to get those when you get your caps and gowns. Um, they are awarded to students who have maintained an average of 94 or above and are graduating with highest honors. And it's my pleasure to say I know most of these wonderful young adults. Molly Fitzgibbons, Roma Quaja, Kirsten Bell, Julia Roman, Allie with no E Delfino, Nicole Del Conte, Megan Albright, Jake Chutney, Abigail McPherson, Dan Emmons, Owen Warner, Haley Furlong, Caitlin Ciro, Dylan Brockway, Sophia DiLorenzo, Victoria Tory Tripp, Morgan Mace, Grayson Carey, Aaron Hibbert, Grace DeLand, Marissa Bell. And continuing on that list, Catherine Fierro, Kayla Hockey, Emma Alton, Elizabeth Bush, Haley Gwinnup, Seth Perrin, Abigail Fall, Carson Colucci, Jackson Stevens, Jordan Engler, Ashley Patterson, Abigail Cook, Nicole Papa, Emily Borer, Miranda Gilbert, Riley Roz Rosisco, Isabella Herrera, and Cole Cullinan. The next set, uh, there's a couple more awards that we'll continue on with now. The Ann Poor Memorial Scholarship is a $500 scholarship to a student who plans to attain higher education through college, a technical school, or a business school. And this award goes to Molly Fitzgibbons. The Syracuse SWE Scholarship Award goes to Alexandria Delfino. The New York State Scholarship for Academic Excellence is awarded to students based upon class rank at the end of their junior year. The $1,500 scholarship goes to Molly Fitzgibbons. $500 scholarships go to Roma Quaja, Kirsten Bell, Julia Roman, Alexandria Delfino, Nicole Del Conte, and Megan Albright. The Faust Family Memorial Scholarship is a $2,000 scholarship awarded over four years in memory of Mr. Faust, a principal at OHS from 1939 to 1964. This goes to a student planning on a career in education who consistently demonstrates a caring attitude toward peers, staff, and the community. This award goes to Jake Chetney. The NYSIR Christian Bambino Memorial Scholarship is a $3,000 scholarship to a student who is college bound. The goal of this scholarship is to reward a student who has worked through his or her challenges to complete high school and gain acceptance into a college or university. This year, the award goes to Ashley Finch. The Oswego Firefighters Association Scholarship has awarded two $400 scholarships, and these are awarded to Alyssa Siror and Abigail Chamberlain. And now we will cut to Staff Sergeant Burdett of the United States Marines for two very special awards. Greetings students and families. This is Sergeant Burdett with the United States Marine Corps, the local representative for the Oswego area. And I'm honored to be able to recognize a few students from the Oswego class of 2020. First is Mason Allen Cass. Mason is receiving a certificate for the delayed entry program, which recognizes his enlistment into the United States Marine Corps. This in and of itself is an achievement as only a very small percentage of the population is qualified to serve in the armed forces, much less the Marine Corps. Mason is an avid wrestler and looks forward to becoming one of the few in the proud. Next is Casey James DeLapp. Casey will be receiving two different certificates. The first certificate is the same as Mason's as acceptance into the late entry program. He looks forward to following in his older brother Johnny's footsteps and becoming a United States Marine. Second is the Distinguished Athlete Award, 
which comes as recognition directly from the athletics department for superior athletic performance during swim season and various other activities conducted throughout the school year. And finally, the United States Marine Corps would like to recognize the class of 2020 valedictorian for Oswego High School, Molly Fitzgibbons, who is being recognized for outstanding scholastic achievement throughout her senior year. And finally, I would like to extend a big congratulations to the Oswego High School class of 2020. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Fair winds. And here we are back in the studio for the end of our evening. One more time, a big congratulations to all of our seniors, juniors, and all of our merit award winners. You are all recognized and valued by the Oswego community. And thank you again to the people out there for every candy bar that you bought, every overpriced roll of wrapping paper that you purchased, <laughs> Every time you wore jeans to school on a Friday or a hat and it cost you 50 cents, yep. it went into a scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. The students of the Oswego High School appreciate it. And the community appreciates it. We are going to end out with our final uh, honors. And again, I'm going to turn things over to Mrs. Lloyd to take us through the end. OK, these two um, highest honors go to two girls that I love dearly like my own. Um, the salutatorian medal is awarded to the student with the second highest cumul cumulative average in the graduating class, and that goes to Roma Quaja. And finally, last but not least, certainly, the valedictorian medal awarded to the student with the highest cumulative average in the graduating class goes to none other than Molly Fitzgibbons. Thank you, everybody, for coming, from Mrs. Mills, Mr. DiLorenzo, and obviously the whole community and everybody who made this possible. Thank you. We good? <laughs> no, I'm still not. <laughs>